hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to add uh, a captcha uh, like uh, google recapture inside your angular 13 application so whenever you visit an, any sort of website which requires any sort of authentication you will see this uh, recapture box here you need to manually check this uh, i am not a robot box this check box so once it is done you will see that you can progress inside your operation so we will try to replicate this widget we will try to insert this widget inside our angular 13 application so basically if you again refresh it it will again convert it to a recapture so again you need to refill this so every time you visit a website this will be automatically available for the user to trigger like this so you have seen these recaptures on various websites this is primarily this is uh, used in ma many ways to prevent spam spammy users which come to the website to spam so it is very good uh, widget for security purposes so you need to manually select this and then select this box of uh, i am not a robot so we will try to add this widget inside our angular 13 application so this will be a very easy tutorial so in the background we are using a library which comes which is called as ngx capture so if you just search for this library this is the library which is used to build uh, recaptures inside angular application so it's a very popular library almost 20,000 weekly downloads are there and uh, this is a simpler command here which is used to install this module which is npm install ngx capture so this is the command which is you can see here so if i show you the live demo this is the official documentation about this plugin so you can also change the theme of this to dark also dark you can see that now it has changed to you can just toggle it based upon which color you like if you like the dark color you will switch to the dark theme or if you like the light theme you will switch to the white color you can also change the language to any language of your choice so if you now set the language which will be changed so this is es for spanish so this is inside spanish here and uh, en is for english so you just need to set the two letter iso code so then it will change to that particular language so it has language support for various languages you will see this is for hindi language so you just need to find out the two letter code for the language you will see that so you can see that it has various languages support so also it has image support uh, image capture also available by default it is image you can also have uh, audio capture as well you will see that so this is all the options that you can perform guys so let's start building this application so i have given all the source code in the video description so if you want to find out the source code you can go to the video description link so inside the live stream i have given this link in the video description so simply go to the link and download all the source code and the very first thing guys you need to do is that i have shown you you need to go to this url and you need to get your side keys so here you need to register a domain name for which you need to add these recapture boxes so basically these are provided by google.com so they will require a certain kind of uh, side keys so whichever version you are using so let's suppose you are using the recapture type to version 2 so you will select this so then you can select various i am not a robot checkbox or invisible or recapture android so we will select the first one and here you need to add your domain name on which domain name you need to add these checkboxes for building the angular application we will be using this uh, tool which is quite 
code tool code sandbox so it comes with uh, various templates which allows you to build angular application in no time so just log in inside with your github account i have already logged in so now this will create your application and it will give you this live url for your angular application so it's live so now we can add this website inside this captcha domain that's it so you need to accept the terms and service and uh, click on submit so you need to give it a label i will say test click on submit so it is saying that following a valid domain requires a host and must not include any protocol path so you don't need to provide the protocol here so simply write this like this so click on submit and basically guys after submitting it your uh, site has been registered so you will get your own uh, these uh, site key and secret key so you need to copy to clipboard these uh, important details and we will use it inside our application once once we get started so you can see that now we need to install this dependency which is quite similar so just search for this dependency which is ngx capture so simply install this dependency it will install it in the background once it's complete we can require this dependency so now it has completed guys so now in order to include this dependency you need to go to your app.module.ts file so simply here you need to require this library so simply we will first of all we need to also require the forms module so this is present inside the angular forms package and also we need to also import the reactive forms module so this is also present inside the angular forms package and next we need to import the newly installed ngx captcha module so this is present inside ngx captcha so now we need to add all these details inside the imports array so simply put a comma just write ngx captcha module reactive forms module and forms module so just now close this file we don't need this so simply close it so right here we need to go to our uh, app.component.html file so right here just delete all this instead we need to have a simple form so here we will be giving a attribute to it a form group a form group so right here inside this guys we will have ngx recapture 2 and then we will be giving it a unique label so that we can target it inside the angular application so we will say capture element so here guys we this expect uh, various arguments here first is it expect is the side key so the side key is the same thing that you got from google.com so simply we have successfully copied this so simply copy and paste it your own site key don't copy my site key and then we have a reset handler so when we click this we will need to execute the handle reset method one when this uh, expire so we will also handle the expire event the next one is on load so when it is loaded on the screen what we what we we'll need to do so we will say handle load so the next one is success 
so whenever the user is successful in solving the capture so we will have uh, handle success so in this method we are actually passing the event as a argument so event so the size is uh, the size which is defined so this needs to be inside square brackets because this is the options which are we are performing so these are the languages which it support so this language can be anything you can set english spanish or any language of your choice then we have the theme option this can be either uh, light or dark depending upon which theme you use and uh, the type parameter so the type parameter will be equal to type which is set and lastly we will have the form control name which is equal to recapture you can give any name of your choice recapture so here you need to close it this tag so after doing this guys I will try to copy paste this code which is written here inside uh, app.component.ts file and try to explain you what is happening here so if I paste this code now basically guys we are including the dependency which is ngs capture we are including this component and also we are including form group form builder and validators so you can see here so this is uh, theme is set to light size is normal language is english type is image or audio so if i now basically refresh it So if you also try on your own website, if these details are true, then hopefully your application will work because it takes some time before you can see here. Now you need to select all the motorcycles here which are present here. And once it is done, click on next. Simply select the capture, solve it verify and now you can see i'm not a robot so it is successful so in this way guys you can embed the recapture widget inside your angular 13 application using ngs capture library all the source code will be there inside video description please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video